You guys, here's the deal. I love beach curls and I cannot lie. I love beachy waves. Beachy curls, beachy waves, beachy sea salt spray, beachy anything. I mean, I should move to the beach, but you know what? I don't have to, to achieve this look. For the longest time, I've had to figure out how to achieve them using two products, a curling iron and a flat iron. Well, ladies, throw that curling iron in the trash can because I finally figured it out. Well, sort of, I sort of figured it out. I am passing along my favorite tips for how to curl your hair with a flat iron. So before we get started, there's a couple items that you'll need to achieve this look. Obviously, your flat iron, a curling iron, just in case. Your favorite hairspray, a beach spray, maybe an oil or serum if you have extensions, I'll get to that. A brush and a toothbrush. I'll also explain that later. Like I said, curling extensions can be a little bit tricky. Also, curling hair with a flat iron can be a little tricky. I've been playing with it for probably four or five months. I think I've got the hang of it, but I always have my curling iron handy just in case. The big key in achieving this look is making sure you have a good flat iron. You want something that has high quality plates. You want something that has a rounded edge so you don't get like a square bend that you get more of a rounded beachy bend. So today I'm going to be using the MP Beautiful flat iron. It has rose gold plates. I love some rose gold. It has a rubber no slip handle so it really helps your hands stay put. It also, I don't know if you can hear this, the plates are vibrating. Why you ask? It helps your hair glide through the plates better without you having to tug and pull and risk breaking your hair. For me, it's a good reminder also of how long my hair has been against heat. This flat iron, like I said, is by MP Beautiful, David Babai, like Hawaii. He's one of my favorite people. He styled everybody from Kate Hudson to Angelina Jolie. He has been a celebrity hairstylist for 20 years. And he basically was like, I couldn't find products that I loved. so. I created them. So this is the tool I'm going to be using today. Um, highly recommend it just because all the features I look for in a good flat iron to do a curl, it's got. So to start this tutorial, I have separated my hair half up and half down. So I'm just going to start by curling all of my natural hair first, and then I go back in and curl those extensions. If you're an extension girl, you know that extensions can be a little bit tricky just because they curl a little bit differently than your regular hair, but this is all my natural hair down here. I am just going to take small pieces, probably about an inch, I'd say. You're gonna go down, a third of the way down, bend, bend, and pull. Oh, look at that good wave! <gasps> I'm gonna be really honest and say the first time I tried using a flat iron, it, I look like I stuck my finger in a light socket. So I'm gonna do that again, bend, Bend, uh-oh, see, I screwed that one up. You wanna grab the top, bend, bend, pull. Bend, bend, and then pull. Some of them are gonna be different sizes, and I'm okay with that, because you don't want all the curls to be the exact same size, you're gonna look like Shirley Temple, or like you forgot to like brush out the curls. You want them to look tousled, you want them to look loose, and then I kind of separate them Ugh, and those back pieces, they're hard. I'll split that big chunk into two sections. Get out of there. Bend, bend, pull. And a lot of this hair, honestly, is gonna get covered up by the rest of my hair. So if it's not perfect, I don't really care. The integrity of my hair was kind of compromised when I went platinum a couple years ago. So I'm still kind of working with it getting it back into a really healthy place. So I try to be um, very cautious with the heat. You can either pay for the flat iron now that won't damage your hair, or you can pay for deep conditioning treatments and extensions three years later when you want all your hair to be the same length because half of it's broken off. Your choice. Okay, we're gonna let all that cool. And now we're gonna go to the next layer. I'm gonna start rotating which way I curl. cute little guy. So my extensions are taped in. I'm going to split them in half. Everything in front of my ear, I'm going to curl away from my face. And then when I get behind my ear, that's when I'm going to start curling them towards my face. And that's where you'll see that I alternate the direction of the curl. You just have to get the hang of it. See, that's a cute one. Okay, this is where we rotate. I'm not very good at this. I might have to call in backup on the curl iron. So we go in instead. Woo! I'm good. 
Oh, I did it! So see how those curls are different? This one, I went back, and this one, I went in. Now let's do it again. We're gonna grab it, and we're gonna move towards our face. I don't like curly ends. I want it to be straight. Now let's go to this side. You want that like disheveled curl. And if you kind of are disheveled <laughs> as a human and a hair curler, then it might actually work in your favor. You kind of have to treat the extensions differently. So this is where you might want to use um, an oil serum. This one is also by MP Beautiful and just run it through the ends of just your extensions. This serum I like because it's lightweight, but I don't like to use serums on my natural hair because I have really, really fine hair. All of MP Beautiful's products are plant-based. No parabens, no sulfates, and no sodium chloride. This oil I really think is an extension lifesaver if you're somebody whose extensions are starting to look a little ratchet. Okay. I might need another cup of coffee today. Now obviously, I could speed this up and do it with a curling iron, and I feel like it's a nice challenge to, you know, learn something new at 37. Well, almost 37. Slowly but surely, ladies. Okay, now is where I part my hair. Remember those bangs? Those were fun, weren't they? We're gonna part this down the middle. I'm gonna work like back to front. These that are right there by my scalp, I kind of pay really close attention to because they're the ones that are gonna cover up that main piece right there. Oh, I'm good. Okay, so you say, this is when I say F it. Except the curling iron's not. <laughs> no! Vloggers that look like we have it all together. It's, it's all smoke and mirrors. I curl all of this piece together because I'm trying to like smooth those bangs in so they kind of curl well. So I'm gonna lift it there to get that little lift right there for my bangs and then I'm gonna curl these pieces separately. Maybe the overhead move is who I am. <laughs> or not. The whole head is curled. I'm going to go back through and make sure ends are straight. And then I'm going to take my brush because I don't want them to be curly Q. And then we're just gonna kind of play and fiddle, figuring out who's too curly, who's too straight. I'm also gonna go back in and really flatten down those top pieces. And then, this is a David tip. Spray a little hairspray 
onto the toothbrush. And then we're gonna smooth down all those flyaways right there. And then I'm really working on blending these extensions right here. And you can also use this to kind of tease it if you need a little ump right there. Okay. Now there's a couple pieces that I'm not like 100% in love with. This is kind of when I go back in with my curling iron and give them some love. And it's usually towards the bottom half of the curl. I just want one more little bend. There's still a little curly right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my beach spray. Here's the theory on beach sprays. They have salt in them. What does salt do when you eat it? It makes you bloated and it makes you swell up. Well, this is essentially what salt spray does for your hair. Oh my God, does this not smell amazing? Can you smell it back there? And you might come across a piece like this one that still isn't freaking perfect. And I'm gonna recurl it. I'm into this hair today. I need somewhere to go now. And then I set it with just a little hairspray. Just squirt, squirt, squirt. And there, you have it. So it might not have been perfect, but it sure is cute. See, all you need is a great tool, great products, and you also can achieve this look. Hey, if you liked this video, which I'm sure you did, be sure to give me two thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments what type of videos you want to see here on my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. And of course, head to currently.com for more fashion, beauty, hair curling, makeup, skincare, travel, all the things.